Hi everyone, I wanted to show you the uh, progress I made on the uh, automated call terminal. Um, let's start here. As you can see here are the electronics with the Arduino, the central processing unit, um, some power distribution and also some motor drivers. I hooked it all up on some connectors so it's easy to uh, disconnect the whole thing, otherwise as you can see it's almost 2 meters wide by now and I won't get it down into the living room to set it all up so I needed to make it a bit modular um, next to that is the uh, compressor um, it's on uh, 35 psi right now and um, it makes sure that the uh, pneumatic system is always on pressure and uh, so if you uh, notice some uh, noise later on it's this thingy here that will start when the pressure is below, drop below the uh, 30 psi. Uh, we're going to do a uh, dry test first so you can see a bit what is going to happen. If we take a look further in, this is where the uh, wagon will stop. And when it stops, this one here is a conductor that will come up. And this conductor will uh, make contact to a conductor on the bottom of the wagon, as you can see here. There's a motor inside which drives a uh, linear activator and that will open that hatch here. The hatch is actually a bit small so some calls can clog up during the unloading process. Um, I can open and close the hatch uh, a few times so uh, most of the calls will drop out. It's something I have to uh, optimize. But hey, it's the first test so no problem. Okay, further on to the sensor over here which detects the train and when the uh, locomotive hits this sensor this little signal hill will turn red and the whole track will be powered down it actually reverses the uh, polarity so uh, the train brakes uh, a bit faster and uh, that way I can um, make it stop a bit more accurately because the uh, hole is quite small what you'll see when uh, the train hits the sensor is that um, a lot of things happening at once. First the uh, piston is coming out and also the conveyors are turned on. So these two conveyors are turned on which end up in a third conveyor that runs down this little factory here which is gonna do something later on as well. And up to this conveyor and here will be in the end uh, project uh, a silo under which a train can stop to fill up again so we can uh, make a, a cycle repeating itself so let's see what uh, happens if we trigger this little sensor here there's the light I hit the sensor these ones have come up all the conveyors are running and in a moment these um, conductors will go down again so the train can leave again but it takes some time before uh, it happens since the hatches are opened and closed a few times here we are well as you can see also the compressor has gone to work um, let us try it now with the uh, train on it. Let's see what happens. Alright, the uh, wagons are filled up with some coal pieces as you can see. Um, I'm gonna start the uh, system right here by pressing the reset button and the train will start arriving towards the sensor where it will be stopped. If it's fine with uh, this little guy over here. Alright, here we go. I press the uh, reset button the train will start to ride. Here it comes. Well, not nothing is happening. That's not cool. Yeah, here they come. Now, as you can see, by opening and closing the uh, hatches a few times, they actually unload pretty well. and back into the bucket that's a lot of course right well um, this is how far I came and this is what I wanted to show you so if you have any suggestions or um, 
do you just like it just let me know and um, hopefully I see you next time bye